Hi, welcome to Bark Heart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about Preset by Serena Dolan. But before we get into today's book, I have a couple of announcements to make, some very exciting things happening. One, uh, the big news of the spring. I am working on a book, uh, a book of cocktail and mocktail recipes. Uh, current title is Cocktails and Consoles, because all of these cocktails and mocktails and all of their hosting tips that go along with them are inspired by the wonderful world of video games. Be sure to stay tuned for uh, more news on that front as it becomes available. Uh, the book will be coming out next year in 2024, and I'm so excited to be able to talk about it finally, uh, and I look forward to sharing more with all of the viewers out there. We've got some exciting things coming with that. Second announcement, this is our 100th episode. We've done a hundred Barkhart bookshelves over the last almost two years. We're gearing up for our two-year anniversary at the start of July. And so to celebrate that big 100, I will be giving away a copy of today's book preset. Uh, just hit that like button and comment in the description below. Uh, this giveaway is going to run for two weeks, so uh, when we hit, what, June 13th, I believe, uh, we will announce a winner and uh, send a copy of the book out uh, to you. That is going to be an international giveaway, too, uh, so, you know, if you're um, looking for a book and a really neat sci-fi thriller, Here's your chance to win Preset and help us to celebrate that big 100. So, without any further ado, why don't we learn a little bit more about the book and get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Preset is a science fiction thriller. It is the prequel to um, Reset by Serena Dolan, which we covered last spring, and shows us the origin of the four cities. It is a standalone prequel. You don't need to read Reset to um, understand what's happening in Preset. And in a lot of ways, I would be interested to see uh, what the reader approach and reaction, <laughs> what the reader reaction to Preset is if you haven't read Reset. It's a really a fun book, a twisty book, uh, playing with the ideas of deep love and romantic attachment and memory, the uh, vagaries of memory. Uh, if you have read Reset, then there's this extra sort of grandeur and sheen of tragedy that looms over the narrative. You know uh, ways in which this story is going to resolve itself uh, that I think makes it more poignant and and more thoughtful. It's the story of the destruction of the world and the sort of nascent uh, seedlings of the four cities, this sort of uh, utopian community in the desert that is the last preserve of mankind in um, the wake of the last war. It's the story of the founder of the Four Cities, and especially the story of his wife, Eleanor, both of whom we see in supporting roles in uh, Reset. Uh, it is a story of love that breaks and comes back together and breaks again, uh, of a difficult relationship of the ways in which... Um, you just, you can't stop loving someone even when it's difficult. And uh, the ways in which love uh, endures and changes and is, is made to change by circumstance. It's a story that's interested in um, gynecology and obstetrics, in uh, the challenges of science, in the uh, sort of potential and worry around uh, predictive models and artificial intelligences, 
there's a lot going on there, but it's solidly rooted in that sci-fi romantic thriller tradition. So uh, the emotions and the action are strong. Uh, and of course, we had to have a drink inspired by the book. Our drink today is called Forever and a Day, and it is inspired by the relationship between Eleanor and Eli, uh, and especially the comfort that Eleanor finds in her garden and in her work as a uh, botanist and biologist. So we're going to start with uh, some fresh sage. It's wonderful that Reset and Preset both come into my life right when the garden's getting into full swing, able to go out into the garden and grab some, some sage. Early in the book, uh, Eleanor is described as smelling like coconut and sage, and so we've got to get those elements in there. You want, you know, four to six leaves, three to five leaves of sage in your cup. Uh, you can find it at the grocery, all the better if you're growing it in your garden. Uh, I'm sure Eleanor would approve. We're going to take our muddler and we're going to gently muddle that sage. You want to be gentle, um, just expressing the oils, getting that sort of herbal sage scent out, but not tearing up, not bruising too much, just a slow, easy motion to muddle. Uh, we don't want to release any sort of bitter compounds in to our drink. Wonderful. Next, we'll get our base spirit. Very herbal, very refreshing. An ounce and a half of gin. Lovely. You can use a London dry style gin or a more American style. Um, really go for your favorite gin. Something that you love because these are books about love to brighten things up. We use lemon in our reset drink, but things are a little more bittersweet here. So we're going to go for that ooh, lime juice and get a full ounce of lime juice into our drink. As I said, we've got to get that cream of coconut. I find it's easiest to measure cream of coconut with um, the bar spoon. And so we're going to want to get ooh, one two bar spoons of the cream of coconut into our shaker tin. And that's going to be about a quarter of an ounce. So if you wanted to measure with your jigger, you could certainly do that. Um, but since it's an ingredient you keep in the fridge, it's often pretty thick. Using the bar spoon is uh, definitely the way to go on that. And finally, to round things out, we see the origins of this mysterious flower that uh, gets used in the series. <laughs> Hypnos, a s sort of memory altering drug. And to represent that, we've got half an ounce of lemon balm syrup. Uh, that sort of herbal, refreshing, not quite mint. Uh, it reminds me almost of like Fruit Loops uh, in the smell, but very green, very bright, very refreshing herbal. And we're going to get half an ounce of that down in there. Wonderful. Now we're going to add our ice. And shake it up, wake it up. It seems that I am without my Hawthorne strainer today. In the world of the Four Cities, they're sort of on their back foot in the wake of the uh, last war here, so we learn how to make do. I'm going to show you a technique that you can use when you don't have your strainer. So you're going to want to get your uh, shaker just so, leave a little bit of a gap there, and strain into your glass. And you are going to get a little bit of that sage in there, that's just refreshing, herbal, delicious. Wonderful. So even without our Hawthorne strainer, we can always make do and get our good cocktail into the glass. So there you have it. This is the Forever and a Day, a shaken sour inspired by Preset by Serena Dolan.
comment down below, hit that like button, enter to win a copy of the book. Um, that's going to run, as I said, for two weeks. So uh, look for the conclusion of that giveaway in mid-June. We've got a link to snag the book uh, in the description below. If you just can't wait, want to uh, buy it for yourself or request at your local library, got a link to the Boston Shaker where we get all of our tools and ingredients, things like the Georgian cocktail glass, the bar spoon, the jigger, all of that stuff. Uh, we've got links to various forms of social media, links, 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 Twitter and Instagram, where there's always a written version of today's recipe. Try the drink. Let me know what you think. Read the book. Comment down below. Uh, tune in next week for a new recipe. And uh, until next time, cheers.